This is a very affordable and wearable oud. So let's review Swiss Arabian Shaghoff oud. Hey, what's good guys? Hunter here and welcome back to the channel where I upload weekly Fragrance content so you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button down below and also be sure to follow me over on my Instagram page. So today we are reviewing a Swiss Arabian fragrance, which is my first introduction to this house. They are a Middle Eastern house, of course, kind of like Latafa, Afnan, of course, Armaf, etc. But I've never had any experience with this brand up until this point. But I do know this house does get a ton of hype, especially Shaghoff Oud. And I believe there's also a few flankers of this line. And I did come across this fragrance at my local rack store because I did hear about Swiss Arabian popping up at like TJ Maxx, Burlington, Marshalls, etc. And I finally found this one. So of course I had to snag it. So let's go with some information. Now this fragrance was launched back in 2016, which did surprise me. I can't believe it's been around that long and I really haven't heard about this fragrance or this house in general until recently. For the retail price though, which is outstanding, you can basically find an 100 ml bottle of this for around that $30 mark or even less. I think I paid $25 for mine at Burlington. Of course, I will also try to find the best price and leave it tagged on this video. The concentration with this one is an Eau de Parfum, which is always a good thing. That means it is gonna be concentrated. As far as the perfumer goes though, it is unknown. And that's usually the case with these Middle Eastern houses. They don't usually list who was the nose behind their fragrances. With all the information out of the way, let's look at the packaging and presentation you're gonna get with Shaghoff Oud. All right, take a look at the box, which I love the way this box looks. Of course, it comes in this gold finish, and it's also texturized, which is nice. Shakhoff Oud, Eau de Parfum, Swiss Arabian. On the bottom, you have some of your information as well as a barcode. Your batch code will be inked in on the side, on the back, back, Swiss Arabian. And then on top, you do have the Swiss Arabian logo as well. So let's look at the bottle now. So the bottle is following suit with that gold box. This looks like a block of gold in and of itself. Of course, Shakhoff Oud. Swiss Arabian on the bottom, you do have your sticker as far as a batch code and some information. I believe mine was made in December of 2022, if you guys are interested. On the back, you have these X's, which I think is actually looks very awesome. And X's all around the cap. On top, you have the SV as well, or SA, I mean, that's a weird logo. For some reason, it looks backwards, but it's not. Nothing inside of the cap, nothing on the atomizer. And these caps are plastic, but that's not the biggest deal. In the top, you have saffron. In the mid, you have oud and rose. And in the base, you have oud, praline, and vanilla. And this will be classified as an oriental sweet. So let's spray this and test out these atomizers. Very nice distribution. It's not pressurized, but it does shoot a lot of juice. So let's go ahead and remind myself of Shaghoff oud now. So right away, guys, it's hard to believe that this fragrance is only around that $30 mark because the opening is so good from that spicy saffron which is very dry and kind of gives off this leathery tone to it. And if you don't know, saffron is the most expensive spice in the world. And it's a very well done saffron right away in this opening. A lot of Middle Eastern houses are known for like their saffron oud and rose combinations. And this is without a doubt one of those because once you make your way into the mid, primarily what you're gonna get is that rose, which is extremely luscious, very deep, red rose as well even though the oud is listed in the mid i'm not really picking up on any of that oud yet once the rose starts to come through the oud is mostly going to be in that base but they pretty much doubled up on the oud to let you know that there is oud in this one once you make your way into the base of shaghoff oud is when it starts to become very sweet and gourmand from of course that chocolatey praline note which is creamy a little bit like tonic and gives off that chocolate vibe without a doubt along with, of course, that spicy, creamy vanilla, which is also a very gourmand note, but just has a very sweet, chocolatey gourmand base with this one. The oud is there as well, but the oud in this one, it doesn't really come across like barnyardy or funky. It is like a synthetic oud that just comes across woody and a little bit earthy. So if you're not a fan of those funky, barnyardy, potent oud fragrances, I think this one you might still enjoy because it doesn't necessarily go completely in that direction which is kind of unfortunate for me when I bought this one. I was expecting a heavy dose of funky barnyardy oud, 
And I did hear some comments about it as well that it is there, but no guys, this is more of a, a crowd pleasing, easy to wear oud in my opinion. And it might just be because of all the sweet notes in the bass kind of like uh, balancing it out perfectly. Now, if I were to describe this fragrance, guys, this is pretty much a more gourmand take on Dior Oud Esfahan, which is probably one of the most popular Oud fragrances of all time. That is a heavy dose of like Oud and Rose. This though takes that kind of DNA and adds a ton of gourmand notes. So if you picture Oudis Bahan with some chocolatey praline and creamy sweet vanilla, this is it right here. Just such a good bang for your buck if you're looking for a solid rose oud that's not gonna break the bank. So for the best seasons to rock, Shaghoff Oud, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right, I think I am, is gonna be though for the fall and winter primarily because this is a dark, earthy, woody, sweet, rosy kind of fragrance and also spicy. So of course, when you think of that DNA, you think of colder months, and that's without a doubt where this is gonna shine perfectly. It's a little bit too potent, too deep and dark for like the summer and springtime even. Possibly though, like the spring evening, if you're going on like a date or something, it could be pulled off, but primarily guys, the colder months like fall and winter. So for occasion, most of the time when you have a fragrance scent profile like this, I always picture a more formal event. And it's no different with Shakhoff Oud, guys. When I smell this one, I picture like being dressed up in a nice suit, a tuxedo even. Just looking my absolute best because this does smell very formal, very sophisticated and classy. Of course, with that heavy dose of rose, without a doubt, a more formal fragrance, especially even maybe like a date night, guys. I think this would be perfect on a date just because it smells like something you can eat from the praline and vanilla. And of course, you have that romantic rose in there as well easily gonna be a banger for going out on a date, especially like a nice dinner date in the evening time. Trust me, this is the kind of fragrance that will leave a lasting impression on whoever you're going out with. So for gender, this is right down the middle unisex, guys. If you're a woman watching this, if you're a guy watching this, both of you can easily rock Shakhoff Oud without any hesitation. Because of course, when you think of like rosy fragrances, sweet fragrances, they typically lean feminine. But this one, because of the spicy saffron and the oud, it balances that out and makes it easily, perfectly unisex. Now for age groups, um, I think this one does lean more mature. When I smell this one, I don't think of a younger person rocking this at all. Just because oudy, rosy, spicy fragrances typically lean more on the mature side of things, and that's the same case with Shakhoff oud. Even though you do have the sweet kind of notes of balancing it out as well, which Usually lean youthful, but it just doesn't overtake all the other notes and makes it a more youthful targeted fragrance. However, though, if you are younger, you like rose oud fragrances, which I know a lot of you guys probably do because I do as well, then absolutely check this one out. Even blind by worthy, if you're at like a, a Burlington and you come across this for 25 bucks, you really can't go wrong. And I would say it's even a good introduction to the note of oud because it doesn't really go into a extremely daring, challenging way. But yeah, if you're younger, you wanna get into an oud rose, check this one out. But if, also if you are more mature and older, this is gonna be right up your alley. And I say entry level oud because it's not the Kind of oud that's going to completely scare you away from that note because trust me behind me i have some very funky daring challenging ouds that a lot of people would never wear so wrapping the review of talking on me performance you should expect from this one guys from my testing the first time i wore this and tried it out i got around that eight hour mark of good longevity on skin even if you apply your clothes it's going to probably last a couple days on clothes so be cautious of that. I will say though, I was expecting even more beast mode and nuclear performance from the reviews I read about this one saying it's a strong beast of a fragrance. I did get average performance when it comes to longevity, but eight hours is still nothing to joke around about. Just not something that's gonna last like 12 plus hours on skin. And when it comes to the projection, the projection was actually a little bit more moderate than I was expecting as well. I was expecting like almost a room filler because a lot of rose oud fragrances are so nuclear. One that comes to my mind is like Montal Intense Black Oud, which is a beast, probably one of my strongest fragrances in my collection. And that's also a oud rose fragrance. But I think something about that kind of gourmand, kind of lactonic, creamy base doesn't make this one project as much as I was hoping. So still moderate projection, which means when you're walking around with the Cios, people will without a doubt smell you and probably chase you down and ask you what you're wearing because the majority like the general public have never smelled anything quite like this, especially where I'm from in America. I know over like the Middle East, Dubai and stuff, people walk around smelling like rose oud all the time, but it's a different case here. But still easily a fragrance that will get you recognized and complimented without a doubt. So that's gonna do it for my review of Swiss Arabian Shaghoff Oud. Let me know down below if you've tried this fragrance 
if you've tried anything from the house of Swiss Arabian. And if you have any recommendations, leave a comment about those because I'm actually very interested. After trying my first from this house, I'm gonna have to check out more. But besides that, guys, leave a like, subscribe below if you haven't already, and I'll catch all of you back here in my next upload. Take care, everybody.